Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're looking at how to set up Google Analytics for your React website. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is come into Google Analytics and then click Start Measuring. Since this is our first time adding Google Analytics to our website, Google is going to ask us to create an account. The first step is to create an account name. This can be whatever you like, as long as it's meaningful to you. Next, it will ask us for the property name. Now, this is useful if you've got multiple websites that you want to have under the same account. But again, you can enter any value here, as long as it's meaningful to you. Then we want to update our time zones. So we want this time zone to be the time zone that you're in, so that the data collection time correlates with your time zone. Now we need to describe our business to Google. This website that I'm adding Google Analytics to is just a website that I've made myself, so I can put in small, one to 10 employees, as it's just me. Then we will describe our goals to Google. My website is a freelancing website where I make websites for other people. So I'm going to click generate leads, understanding our web traffic and view user engagement and retention to see how long users are spending on the site and what they're doing. Then of course, we need to agree to the terms of service. I've done this with many different websites before, so I'll click agree. Now you need to choose the platform of your project. For us, we're creating a web application, so we'll click web. The final part of the account setup is just telling Google what the URL of our site is. So just enter that here, and then once again, type in your website name under the stream name, and finally press create continue. We've now set up our Google Analytics account. The next step is to link our website to our Google Analytics account. To do this, Google provides us with a bit of code that we need to put in our website. So now if we press next, we will see a bit of code that Google has provided us that we can paste into our website code. So now if we click the copy button, and then we come into our React project, if we go to the public folder and then the index.html file, we can put this bit of code anywhere under the head tag. So you can see my head tag is on line four. I'm just going to put this bit of Google Analytics code on line 37, but as I say, you can put it anywhere in the head tag and this will work. So now if we just paste this in, and that is literally all we need to do within our React app. So now if we just come into our terminal and commit this code to GitHub, as we're using AWS Amplify, this will cause a deployment to happen and then within a couple of minutes, the code will be live on our website. This video is part of a wider series on how to create and deploy React apps really easily using AWS Amplify. If you'd like to check out the rest of the series, it will be in the top right right now. Now that our code has been deployed to our website and is live on the site, we can now test the installation of the Google code on our site. To do this, we just press the button in the top right of the setup Google tag page, and this just checks that the code is present on our site. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have been successful in installing the tag and we can now just click through some of the confirmation pages and we see this page which says data collection is pending which means that our google analytics is working and google is collecting data for us thank you for watching this video on how to set up google analytics for your website catch you in the next one